From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a major day here on Afternoons LA Late as huge updates about two stimulus checks overnight. I have the latest details on this weekend edition as we go into a brand new week about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. In today's recording, we learned the new update about two of those stimulus items. Very exciting. And I'll give all the details for you in today's recording. Plus, we have major breaking news from Jamie Dimon, the head of the JP Morgan Chase, who gives you an indication of where this economy is, where it's going, and why there's going to be bumps around the road, but also why we actually don't know a lot of those bumps yet. Financial cliff? Absolutely. So we're not going to know the, the, the magnitude of the cliff in front of us because it's not as pervasive and systematic as we thought. While well, the latest details of what that means in today's recording. But stay in the second half because we have massive stimulus. Inflation stimulus checks, inflation release stimulus checks, ISCs. Then we go over to FSCs, federal relief stimulus checks. And those massive checks, only $300,000 with 300 different checks, will go over all that incredible money in today's big second half of this recording. Then over to lifetime stimulus checks because your benefits are going up an enormous amount. We'll go over the breaking news on that today. It happened just minutes ago. Yes, it's a new update. And then we'll be turning back into this economy. As a series of companies were aboard a corporate earnings last week, we have more coming in this week. It's third quarter. And what do we learn and what does it mean about your wallet? It's very important and we'll go over the latest details as well. Lots new today. I'm also going to give you brand new predictions at the end of the year. As with less than about two months away to December 31st, I'll give you predictions on where parts of this economy are going. So you'll be prepared accordingly and will pivot as well. But will this guy pivot or can he pivot? I mean, he has strange legs. Can he pivot? I don't know. Can you pivot? Uh, <laughs> it's a special edition of Holidays LA. In the second half of the recording, we'll go over plus dolls and why they always stand the test of time for the holiday season. As Halloween is just upon us, we'll go over lazy details on that as well. From the shores of San Monica, California, let's get to the breaking news. It all starts right here, right now, on a special holidays edition of a big, big afternoon's highlight, starting right now. And good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Afternoon's Special Edition about your stimulus and also the holiday spirit. It's all heating up on today's recording. If the economy, your recession, your inflation, your benefit raise, and of course, your housing market and unemployment and forced stimulus. And the breaking news all starts right here, right now for a delicious October 16th, 2022. How are you? Thank you for joining me on a special supersized edition of Afternoons Ally. You're watching America's number three most watched financial news channel in America, Ally Light. And welcome to our brand new members and subscribers around the globe that may have found us with those brand new, very popular YouTube shorts. Let's get right into the breaking news. The breaking news is that two major stimuluses got an update overnight. They are the $7,500 check that is in that E through K. I'll have the latest details on that update in the big second half. Big news about that $7,500. And then we have an update about the lifetime stimulus checks. But let's go right into that minutes ago. If you have your benefits check lined up for alerts via email, like SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Wear Well Bad, but even if you don't receive it by electronic deposit, if you just have alerts set up, you would have gotten the Sunday morning of today's broadcast, October 16th, 2022, an alert from Social Security Administration to sign into your account, and now you can do what the LLA Worksheet has been doing for you for months. Do you think they're watching? Hi, Social Security, how are you doing? 
<laughs> for months since at least March, the Allied worksheets on the fourth page had a table for you to calculate how much your benefit raise would be based upon the announcement of October 13th. It's on the fourth page of the Allied worksheets. Where do you get those Allied worksheets? You become a member, you go right on the video and, and get, join the channel and get that newsletter. We'll go over these worksheets in a second. Now the Social Security Administration has their own worksheets. Just it's online. They made the announcement minutes ago. If you have any alerts set up with Social Security that they send you emails about news or something like that, they sent you this morning, Sunday morning, October 16th, an email that said, now go to Social Security's website and sign in and you can now see how much your check will be next year. This is incredible, and it also is exactly what I've been doing for months on the show. Uh, <laughs> do I get residuals? I don't. Uh, so there you go. You can go to your Social Security website, sign in, and track it all across the board. If you've never used the Social Security Administration website, it may be a little bit uh, more elaborate, but if you haven't, I'm going to explain it for you in the fix I can have. I'm going to show you how to do it. Just you and I watching each other right now, I'm going to show you how to do the numbers in just a second. So you're not actually going to have to even sign into the website if you just fake, stay with me for the big second half. I'll show you how to just do it sitting here and having a cup of coffee this Sunday morning. But let's go right into the other breaking news. I told you a big day. It's a lot going on today. J.P. Morgan's ch uh, Chase's head, Jamie Dimon, one of the most beloved, one of the most in sm uh, smart and one of the most savvy heads of banks in America, who I was a little critical of most of this year because he refused to use the word, use the word recession. When I said we're going to have a recession, he did not. Of course, now he says we're in a recession. S talked on Friday about a series of elements that are so important for you. Are banks liquid enough? Do they have enough cash? Will there be a run on banks if there's, the economy falls apart? Where is the debt in this economy? Are certain industries, like the entire industry of X, so filled with companies with too much debt, they're all going to go under? Or And also, what's going on with the spending power of the American consumer? This is all big news, and let's go over all the details starting right now. Number one, he said as the banks, they're in a great state. They're in a great position. They are fully liquid. You are not going to worry at all during this recession that the banks will go under. Why? You may know the answer if you're in the live chat right or right now. It's a regulation. And what year was it or what was it? Right in the live chat if you know the answer because I've been talking about it on this channel. I bet you know it. This is very important stuff that you need to remember. And it's going to be part of the rest of your lifetime on this planet. It was the 2008 banking regulations. In 2008, a series of banks went under. We all remember that. It was the SNL debacle. I woke up here in Los Angeles and banks were gone overnight. Washington Mutual, for example, WAMU and things like that, just sort of gone overnight. And uh, not that they necessarily went under, but they had they were uh, they were unst they were in a situation they had to get they had to get out very quickly. Not going to happen ever again, at least not in their succession, says Jamie Dimon. We don't see anything like that. Why is this? Diamond added that the, the banks are extraordinarily strong financially because of the 2008 financial re crisis reform legislation. The legislation put in 2008 protected you as a consumer that banks will never do what they did before. That they'll have a lot more cash on hand. So that's great news. Remember that because that's going to be very important. You're going to hear people ask you about this over the next two years. What about my bank? Will the bank go under? No. LA taught me this before. The banking regulations were changed in 2008. It will never happen again like it did before. All right, next question. You're working at a business, or your friends or neighbors, or your daughter working a business. How do you know how indebted that business is? How much debt does that business have? It's a corporation, so you may not know what's going on with their balance sheet. You're not going to ask, of course. Hi, hi, uh, Mr. Boss. How much debt do you have? I'm not going to answer that question. So Jamie Dimon said that it's out there. There are businesses that are very that are too have too much debt on hand. But it's not pervasive, and it's not systematic, and it's not industry-wide. Let's go over the example. He's basically saying if you take an industry, that may be the industry you're working in, you're not going to see the entire industry, all the businesses, have too much debt. That's great news. That is absolutely great news. Why? If you lose, a biz if you lose your job at the business you're at now, 
you can go down to the street to the other business, providing they don't have a hiring freeze, because they will not be going under. They will not be going bankrupt because not a similarly situated business in the same industry are not as indebted, don't have as much debt as you and I may worry about. They don't. So that's really good news. This is a guy who would know this stuff. I would not know this stuff. He knows it. Then he says that it's not systematic, so it's not like you see it happening here and it's going to happen there. Let me explain that even more. I've never explained this in details. This is so important for you. Do not presume that the debt troubles you're going to see in this economy are the same industry by industry, job by job, state by state, or territory by territory. I know that's so important, and you know exactly why I'm bringing that up. People are going to say, oh, the bank, uh, the, the the retail stores in Kentucky are, or they're going to say the um, the medical businesses in Alabama are. No, no, no. Jamie Dimon says it's not going to be that situation. It's not going to be the whole state. It's not going to be the whole industry. It's going to be very sporadic. And so I want you to know that. And here's an example. <laughs> Let's go right into the example. You know, he gives us the analysis, but we got the data. That's how we do it on this channel. Companies came in with those corporate earnings on Friday and Thursday, and more will be coming next week. This is third quarter after the misses of the second quarter. The graphic on the screen, of course, is second quarter. Let's go over what happened on Friday. Banks. <laughs> there we go. Some banks missed, some banks beat. So Jamie Dimon's bank beat, but the other banks did not. I'm using the word bank loosely because I'm referring to brokerage firms as well. Jamie Dimon's bank beat. It surged 34% up in corporate all profits in one quarter. Wow, Jamie Dimon must be doing a pair dance somewhere. 34% up in one quarter. The stock was up 3% in pre-market trading. Morgan Stanley missed, so its stock was down 5%. Citigroup beat. Its stock was up 1%. Wells Fargo beat. Its stock was up 3%. Now, some industries are pervasively doing well, however. You know this answer. Jump in the live chat. Which one industry have you been taught on this channel is doing really well financially and is likely to continue to do well this fourth quarter, which we're in right now? We're getting third quarter's earnings. Which industry is it? Jump in the live chat, and I'll go back over you with you in a second. Here's an example of consumer industry products. Beyond Meat, the um, vegetarian uh, plant-based meat uh, company, struggling. Laying off 19% of its workforce on Friday. Stock is down 7%. Tesla, struggling. As Wells Fargo downgraded the stock, stock was down 6%. And then United Healthcare up 1.1%. So what is the industry that is pervasively doing well? This is different than what Jamie Dimon says. It's pervasively, it's systematically doing well. Travel and leisure, you got it right. Absolutely. Airlines, hotels. Airlines, hotels. Which is different than restaurants. I'm putting this airlines, hotels. They're doing really well. Delta reported, beat. You're going to see other airlines, beat. You're going to see the hotels, beat. They're going to do it this quarter. They're going to do it, uh, they're going to do it last quarter, third quarter, coming in this week. <laughs> we have fourth quarter. Uh, they're going to beat as well. That is pervasive. So if you have a job in that industry, you're going to do, keep that. You're going to have that job capped. It's not going away. If you need a job, that's the industry I would go to get a job in because you're not going to lose the job. They are very uh, financially sound. They're doing very well. The best they've ever done, I think, ever on this channel. So that, travel and leisure, hotels and airlines, is a great industry to have a job in. If you don't have a job, that's where I would go get the job right now. And this, my friends, is why you want to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Those incredible forced stimulus checks are three categories. They are FSCs, federal stimulus checks. We'll go over those checks in just a second. These are checks passed by Congress, passed by executive action of Joseph Biden. They're federal from the federal government, Congress, the president, and United States, every those wonderful people in D.C. Next, we have inflation stimulus checks or inflation relief stimulus checks. These are from your states, and they're huge. We're going to go over those in just a second in the big second half. Promise me you, you will stay in the big second half. And then we go over to lifetime stimulus checks, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. With that, let's go into the first category of checks, and they are FSCs, passed by the people in this building. Yes, and passed by that other guy in this building. Yes, they are federal stimulus checks, FSCs. What are they? Where they come from? How do they work? How do you get them? Let's go over all those answers right now. 
Those incredible federal stimulus checks are deliciousness. And they started with March. The President of the United States in the month of March came in and passed a series of executive actions that established the first three checks. I call them checks A, B, and C. Single individual, 75,000 less, go get them. Married couple, 150,000 less, go get them. Where do you get them? You become a member. You go right in this video, you become a member. You get that incredible newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down that newsletter, you found check A, B, and C, and you go get them. Now, don't worry, because I'm going to go through this with you in the big second half. Congress came along and passed other checks. Those are E through K. And I have a major update today, breaking news about one of those E through K checks right in this big second half. Then, I found you other checks, L and M, N and O, P and Q. I'm finding you new checks all the time. The totality of these incredible checks for the Purple Power is now $300,000 of 300 checks that are absolutely incredible FSCs. You want to become a member, be part of this incredible community, Purple Power, and you're going to win and survive this recession. In new YouTube shorts on this channel, one of the YouTube shorts has three steps. Watch that YouTube short. It's been very, very popular. Three steps you need to do to prepare yourself for this economy. Number one, increase your stimulus. Number two, remove your debt. And number three, know what's going on on a regular basis. Because the economy is changing on a regular basis every day, every hour. There is a shocker across the board. And you need to hear the data here. Joe Biden was in Santa Monica, California this last few days eating a ice cream. And the video went viral when he was asked how good is the economy. The economy is the best it's ever been or something like that. It was just so this... Um, hyperbole. Absolutely untrue. So you need to be here for the data. And that's why we win together. We're going to go over all these incredible checks in just a second. Now, let's continue with the breaking news that impacts these checks. The 10-year Treasury note surged again to one of its highest, to its, um, to one of its highest levels ever in this channel's history. It was over 4%. The Bank of England is in big trouble. There's concerns about how much debt is over there. There's concerns about whether the Bank of England has to keep on stepping in, and it continues to step in to support the economy. Meantime, the Fed governors are pervasively in agreement. Interest rate spikes for the Federal Reserves will continue. What does this mean? Let's go over what this is and how it works. If you knew this channel, let's go over the very basics of what's at issue. Number one, we have inflation. You know what inflation is. We have inflation in this economy. Number two, to battle inflation, Federal Reserve raises rates. When the Federal Reserve raises interest rates, what happens? Debt becomes more expensive. That debt is a car loan, a credit card debt, a mortgage at the home that is adjustable. And as the Federal Reserve does, it becomes more expensive to live. As it becomes more expensive to live, what happens? Well, then we have additional problems with the economy. Let me go over your, with you my projections of what's going to happen. I'm projecting right today that the two-year note will go from 4% to 5% by December. It was a projection I made a few weeks ago, but I'm repeating it again today. Number two, I'm projecting the 30-year fixed mortgage rate, which is the mortgage that Americans use to buy a home, is going to go to, let me see if I get this right again, because it keeps on moving. I got to remember this, 7%, 7% by December. Number three, I'm projecting the stock market to go down another 20 to 30% um, by, I would say, early spring. Why did I pause there? I paused there because there's something called the Santa Claus Rally. There's something called the Santa Claus Rally. Every year, stocks rally during the time in which Santa Claus comes around. They rally up. Why? Because uh, people who own stocks or, or do things with stocks try to end the year with a profit or to offset their losses. And so they figure out a way to make money in those final few weeks. It's 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 their, their business. And that's why we get a Santa Claus rally. After the Santa Claus rally is done, then I believe we're going to go back down. So we're going to, are going to go up and we're going to go back down. I'll have more about that in the big second half. But with that, let's get some incredible checks. Let's get some incredible checks. Do you want checks like this? Of course you do. Let's jump into those first three checks that were pressed by this guy, Joe Biden, in the month of March. Those incredible checks are checks A, B, and C. You ready? I am really never been more ready. Let's look at the incredible check A. $6,500 to $12,000. It's a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get this incredible check? 
Step one, you go under this video, join the channel, become a member, become a Purple Power, a Calcino VIP, or Purple Hawk. Then open that membership newsletter, deliver from me to you, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Air Time, and go down to that incredible newsletter to you find it, check A. At check A, you actually just click the link. I do all the work for you. That's why people are becoming members and cleaning up. You don't have to go looking for 300 applications. I do the work for you. You go down to check A, click the link, and go right in and apply. Congratulations to Spelly who got check A. Let's go to check B. Here we go. Fifteen to $80,000. Wow, that's wonderful. What do you do for this one? You know the answer. You become a member. You go around this video. You join the channel under the video. Then you wait for that membership newsletter delivered from me to you. And remember the time zone. Please remember the time zone. If you're in the Midwest, it's not Pacific Standard Time. It's Central Standard Time. So it's 7 o'clock on the West Coast. It's 9 o'clock Central. And it's 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And go down that membership news. I find check B. Click the link and go right and apply. Look at what people have done. A membership just channels just a few dollars. Just a few dollars. And for just a few dollars, what did Frank Mancuso get back for putting a few dollars into a membership of the channel? Thousands and thousands of dollars. He's not alone. In less than one month, for just a few dollars of a membership, Joe Frank Mancuso got. 18 months of mortgage, wow. 18 months of, of utilities, my goodness. 18 months of high-speed internet in Florida. Another viewer got 80 to 100 checks. She got nearly $100,000 from just paying a few dollars for a membership. Where else do you have anything in the United States where you pay a few dollars and you have the potential of getting hundreds of thousands of dollars back? That's why you want to become a member. That's checks A, B, and C. Let's continue now with check C. The incredible check C is just incredible. What do you do with check C? Well, you have for check C rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. You go down the membership newsletter, you sign, you get that newsletter. And then at check C, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Incredible. Now, promise me this, two promises. One, you'll stay in the big second half because we're going to go over more of these checks. Number two, when you do check C, you reach out to all 12 places in the newsletter that tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Why? Because you can have a rejection. You have one rejection, then you continue because you have 12, 11 other places to reach out to. And you will, for that rejection, also get a yes. Those incredible 12 places make Check C so incredible. Check B. Average view of this channel is getting 18 months of five checks a month. Their mortgage or rent and then their utilities. Check C, the average viewer is getting 18 months of five checks per month. The only difference with check C, they got 12 places to get 80 checks. Oh, wow. That's why you want to become a member. In the big second half, we're going to continue with these incredible FFCs, and we have a major update about the $7,500 check. It's brand new today. It's coming up in the big second half. Then we go over to inflation and release stimulus checks. Then over to lifetime stimulus checks. And then I'll have more about my projections of where the U.S. economy is going in the next 60 days as the year is wrapping up. A lot of money and a lot of incredible great news. We are just getting started. Plus, we'll look back on what we learned this week from this economy and why you continue to do so well and get it right and how you will next week as well. See you back in 60 seconds as Afternoons LA Holiday Edition continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home 
Home LL8 returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. And the excitement continues. Second half of a beautiful special edition of Holidays LA on Afternoons. Hope you're having a beautiful day. In this big second half, we're going to continue with those incredible shacks. Then we're going to jump over to some holiday surprises. It's a great day. It's a delicious day. And the sun is up. Let's jump back into those incredible shacks. Now, remember, we were doing shacks B and C in the big first half. Now, let's continue with those FSC checks right now. Remember, the first three checks, A, B, and C, were done by the President of the United States. Then came along Congress, and they passed checks E through K. And those incredible E through K checks bring us to hundreds of checks. But in those E through K checks, I have brand new updates today for the Purple Power. How are you? Hope you're having a beautiful day, Purple Power, and I hope your week is going to go well. Let's jump into those incredible updates for the Purple Power and you for these incredible FSE checks. Check E, $7,500. So here we go. This is the update check. Check E. Check E is $7,500 when you go buy a car. Now, the major update that came in overnight is the following. It is a one-time payment. It's not something that can be staggered. We never really knew that until a series of analysts have published a report today. Basically, you either use the whole $7,500 the, in that one year or you don't, you either use, uh, excuse me, I said that wrong. You either use, you can, you not, you cannot carry a forward a part of the $7,500 into a second year. So here's what happens. You, when you go get the $7,500, you either qualify for all of it or part of it. Let's say you qualify for part of it, $5,000. Well, you can't get the remaining $2,500 on another year. So that's a major update again today. Again, the $7,500, when you go read that in the membership newsletter, check E, remember how you want to get it. You want to get it in a way in which you could potentially get the whole check. Uh, but if you don't get the whole check, you can't carry over the remainder of the check into the next year. That's a major update today. Check F, $4,000. Wow. Check G, 30% off. Check H, uh, $2,000. Check I, $8,000. Check J, $8,000. Check K, $14,000. How do I keep track of all this? I don't know. <laughs> It's just, you know, this is, this is not, I don't have a script. I don't, yeah, I, I don't even remember which one was a 7,500 until I opened the page. And the, oh, there's a 7,500. And now I got to explain what's brand new on it. That's why you stay here. Now, in addition to those incredible checks, E through K, we have other checks that are FSCs, baby. Here we go. L, $100,000 on average of a loan industry money. M, $4,000 of grant money. Then we have N, my favorite stimulus. Why go buy a brand new tablet for the holiday season for the kids? Just get Stimulus N. I mean, it's just incredible if you qualify. Stimulus N is a brand new tablet. <laughs> a brand new tablet, a brand new computer, a brand new uh, desktop. $100 towards that item. But most tablets are less than $100. They're great. This is incredible. Brand new tablet. Uh, $100 towards a participating provider, Stimulus N, and also for the internet. Wow. Then we have stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs, zero insurance, a credit check. This is for first time home buyers. And then stimulus P, which is 3% down for a refi for existing home. And then $8,000 of closing costs. There you go. Really exciting. Those, my friends, are stimuluses A through Q, which are your FSC, federal stimulus checks. Now, what's important to understand is the following of these of these checks. Let's do an overview. Number one, the checks are all from the federal government, Congress, the President of the United States, across the board. They're not something from your state. Your state has nothing to do about them. Number two, these incredible FSCs, the largest check is $100,000. The smallest is $8,000. Number three, the fastest routing time. Johnny started on Monday. He ended by Wednesday with that incredible $45,000 in his pocket. That's a two-day routing time. He continued to Friday. He got $80,000. Now, he made 15 applications. He put 15 applications in in four days. That's what you do. He got 
half of them approved. Congratulations. What are the checks for? We got everything. We got home repairs. We got rent. We got utilities. We have um, appliances. We have stuff for the car. We have stuff for the computer. All different FSCs. These are federal stimulus checks. You know, there's always someone that thinks that there's a way around this. There isn't. I got some strange message from someone the other day saying, I'm going to reach out to my, not state center, but state assembly person, which is basically like their councilman in their town, <laughs> and ask them about the federal stimulus checks. Uh, they're not going to know those. <laughs> they're not going to know those. This is hyper-technical, hyper-detailed, very specific financial news. Ally is the number three most watched financial news channel in America. Why? Because I go over stuff that other people are not going over. If you found us on a YouTube short just recently and you said, what is that channel? I'm going to watch that channel. I'm going to subscribe. Welcome. Yes, brand new membership and brand new subscribers are coming on in because I got the money for you. This channel has gotten people $50 million over the last two years. We launched on April, uh, March 20. 5th or 20, 25th, 2020. And let's look at the credible success stories from FSCs. This is for Chexy. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Go get it. Do you want uh, these numbers for utilities? Go get it. Now, in the case of utilities, wow. I mean, Mark's brother-in-law got 15000 Lynn Glenn, a longtime viewer of this channel. I mean, Lynn has been with the channel for ages. She got 14 months of uh, it should be 12 months of utilities just a few days ago. Another viewer, 12 months of utilities. Two viewers, 14 months of rent. We had Deborah get $16,000 uh, last weekend. Success stories are coming in all the time. Post your success story in the live chat because you inspire people. I don't care if it's $100. I don't care if it's $100,000. Post your success story. Here we go from Nancy all the way up to Louis. Just incredible. Then we have combinations of checks. Niece is at $23,000. Then she went... Then she went to 50,000. Mark was at 32,000. Then he went to 50. Then he went to 166. Lorraine was at 105, and then she went to 155. Wow. Those, my friends, are FSC checks. Now, time for some other checks. You ready? Inflation, relief, stimulus checks, ISCs. These are great. Where do you find them? In the membership newsletter. Go down to check D where it says Donut and click the link. It opens a brand new page. It gives you the state the state, then the amount of the check, which is generally about $1,000, then a, uh, a link under that for the state website that administers the check. And you can go into that state website and track how it comes by direct deposit, the mail, everything about it. It's incredible. That's the inflation stimulus checks. On average, $1,000. On average, direct deposit. Otherwise, in the mail, you don't have to do anything for them. And on average, you have to have a federal tax return on file a, 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 a personal tax return on file, you can do that free electronically at irs.gov. It only takes a few minutes across the board. Now, let's jump over to lifetime stimulus checks. Incredible great news. What's important to know about these lifetime stimulus checks is that the whole story is not particularly being told to you elsewhere. So that's why I want you to know the complete story, which I've been giving on the channel for a very long time. In fact, all year long. Let me tell you the complete story when we talk about these incredible lifetime stimulus checks. What's at issue? What's at issue is that once your benefits go up, they never go down. We call this lifetime stimulus checks. Why? The issue is that you got a lift announcement this week. I was recording about it all year long. You watched it all this week. We know the answer all this time. 8.7%. Your benefits are going up. Now, here's what you need to know about that 8.7% because people are not telling you the complete story. It's actually better than 8.7. Number one, the 8.7 lift of your benefits is on top of your existing lift that was from last year. Last year, you got a raise of 5.9%. First good news across the board, that it's 8.7% lift on top of your 5.9% lift you already have right now. Great news, number one. Number two, Great news number two is that your medical bills will no longer consume much of or any of your raise of your benefits. Why? Last summer, Congress passed a big bill that eliminated those incredible, through-the-roof Medicare Part B 
premiums. So you'll no longer see your Medicare Part B premiums eat up your benefit check. You'll never see medical eat up your benefit check ever again. That's number two great news. Number three great news is that these amounts of monies will start landing in your wallet on January 1. And these are direct deposits, otherwise automatic. You don't have to do anything about them. And now let's go over the calculation of them. And before we go into good, great news number four, the calculation of them. What's the easiest way to do this number in your head? It's so simple. You basically look at a year and you say, well, you're just going to get an extra check per year minus a little bit. Here's an example. Let's say your benefit check is $1,000 a month. Then you're going to get an extra month minus a little bit. 1000 minus a little bit, 900 Yes, you get about a $900 extra check per year. Look how easy that was to do. An extra check plus a little bit less. So, for example, let's say your benefit check is $500 a month. Then you get an extra $500 minus a little bit less. So, maybe like $350 or $400. That's so simple. You don't even have to go to a website and look this up. It's basically that's how you can figure it out in your mind because it's about 9% and there's 12 months in a year. So simple across the board. Great news number four. You're getting this 8.7% lift, but you're going to get another lift next year and the year after that. j Powell's made emphatically clear. We're going to have inflation next year in 2023 and next and the year after that in 2024. That means you'll get two more lifts. What am I predicting those inflation lifts at? This is a hard one, folks. <laughs> you know, me predicting inflation out two years, uh, okay, I'm good. I don't know if I'm that good. Uh, I'm predicting inflation next year, let's say, hmm, I mean, it could be 4%. Can you imagine? I mean, it's either going to be 2% or it's going to be 4%. I, I, it, it, could, it could be 4%. I mean, it really could be 4%. I just, oh, Lord. Uh, uh, let's say it's 4%. You'll get another 4% raise. Uh, let's say it's 2%, you'll get another 2% raise. Um, the year after that, that's the third year when we're really coming out of the recession and this should be back to normal. You should see inflation really like a 1% or a 2% in 2024. But yeah, that's going to be another raise on top of this. Remember, these are raises on top of raises. Let's use my hand, for example. Raise and then a raise. So it's not like it's replacing the prior raise. It's a raise on top of a raise. The, the, the floors keep on going up. The elevator keeps on going higher in the building. That's the easiest way to describe it. There you go. That's how we do it on this channel. We make it easy and fun and, and simple to digest. All right, let's go back to this economy. Let's go back to this economy and look at what we're seeing this week. As Joe Biden said, the best economy ever. No, not true at all, Mr. President. Um, what's important to understand is the data at issue. First... Let's jump over to that gasoline, shall we? Let's just jump over that gasoline. If you remember this channel, you've seen the price of gasoline just going left and right. You know, it started in September when the gasoline started surging way up very quickly. Then OPEC Plus announced that uh, cutting of production by 2 million barrels a day. And you would have thought, and I would have thought, the price of gasoline would continue just going straight up. It hasn't. So this is really weird. Since that OPEC Plus cut a production of gasoline at 2 million barrels a day, the price of gasoline, and let me see which one I'm referring to, the international price of, Brent, of gasoline, the Brent crude, has gone down, gone up, gone down. It's been very volatile, I got to tell you. Now, this is where it's important to watch this channel. There is really three different prices of gasoline that impact you. Let me explain how you understand this. There's the international price of gasoline on an international level. That's usually the most important number, but it's often not what's going on where you live. Why? After that, we have the U.S. AAA national average. AAA tracks gasoline, and it's average. It's not, you know, indicative of where you live because, let's say, in California, gasoline is more expensive than Texas where, you know, uh, you know, they have gasoline at the at the at the bacon shop. <laughs> Here's some free gasoline. There's gasoline everywhere. Here we have no gasoline anywhere. Um, number three. Then you got the local pumps and the local cities. Oh, uh, <laughs> not this. No, it was last week. Last week on a Tuesday, I took a little break and I went out. And you may have seen my IG Instagram live show. I checked the I checked the gasoline in the car. I was low. 
Um, so I got some gasoline near um, uh, near the beach. Yeah, you see how the story's going. Uh, near the beach, you know, near a tourist stop. Yeah, yeah where the gasoline pumps are usually not located. Uh, and I pulled up and I just said, you know, I, I'm almost empty, but maybe I'll just fill up a little bit. It was literally $7 plus heading to $8. It's like, excuse me, uh, the fish are going to jump out of sea on this one. This is just a crazy. This is just crazy. That is why the gasoline is so volatile, and this is why we have inflation. j is not going to get this down. He's not going to get gasoline down because raising interest rates does not get gasoline down. So what are my projections on gasoline? I'm predicting this gasoline situation to be the same as it is right now by December 31st or worse. Number one. Number two, 30-year mortgage rate, yes, to 7% worse from six percent right now two-year bond going from four to five yes worse i'm projecting that the other elements of inflation you and i talk on a regular basis about the same or higher what do you think higher or lower let me ask these questions right now jump in the live chat do you believe by december 31st milk and eggs higher or lower come your state my answer milk and eggs come higher comma california what do you believe is going to happen with soda between now and December? Higher or lower, comma, your state. Soda, comma, higher, much higher, comma, California. And that's why you have to prepare accordingly. How do you do this? A three-step process. You get as much stimulus as you can. You remove your debt. And you know where this economy is going on a regular basis. And the reason why is you don't want to get scared by anything that's happening. I mean, this economy is something that can scare you. And... Um, and also, a plus Halloween doll can scare you as well. <laughs> it's holidays, Allied. And in this recording, we're going to go over why plus plush dolls. I keep on saying plus. Plush dolls are some of the best Halloween decor to have because they last. i got to tell you, over the years, I've noticed that when you go to buy a ornament or a decoration, which ones survive the most? Jump in the live chat. Which decorations survive the most metal plastic synthetic wood or plush i gotta tell you of all of them i think wood survives the best then plush then metal and plastic the worst i gotta tell you the plush decorations i have seen that are now 30 years old or 20 years old look brand new still Plush decorations really last well. And we always forget this when we go to buy stuff for the holiday season. Really try to fall for that plush decoration. Yeah, this guy's a little bit dusty. Yeah, he needs a little bit of a, you know, a wash down with a, a moist towel. But he looks almost the same as he did when he, you know, he cast a spell on Mitch McConnell. <laughs> when he cast a fried chicken spell on Mitch McConnell. He, you know, he looks the same as that day that they did that. You know, he still has the same, um, the same shoes. He can kick his feet up and, and do the pair dance at any day. But I think plush dolls is really something to default for. Number two, wood. Wood decorations are really hard to find. But when you do, I really would ask you to choose them before something else. Wood lasts. And if you're just storing your to your decorations in a in an area in which they're not going to get wet, they're going to look great. Wood decorations usually, again, you just dust them down and they look perfect. Now, steel and metal comes third. Why? Because they can tarnish. It depends on how they're how they're protected. One of the ornaments you may remember from holidays LA last year, and I think even the year before, it, is I have a red uh, Woody's truck with a green Christmas tree on the roof. You remember that ornament? I think you do. I got it here, I think at Ross, maybe two years ago. It looks exactly how it looks to then today. Why? Because it's metal, but it's painted and then sealed with a lacquer. So that's the difference. If it's an unfinished metal, it, it, it's going to tarnish. But if it's a metal that is sealed, painted, that is painted then sealed during, or um, in some cases, they you know they blow the metal. It's, it, it's a painting process. I don't even understand that. But what, if it's just normal metal and it's painted and it's sealed, it's going to really last. Those are the type of ornaments I really default for. And then finally, the plastic stuff. The plastic stuff, you know, if Sir Lloyd walks in, it's all gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sir Lloyd walks in. Uh, our favorite cow lobbyist. You know, he, he's a cow. And he walks in and he just walks on the stuff. It's just going to be all gone. That's what happens on this channel. You know, I always remind myself, just don't always use anecdotes because people may not know who Sir Sirloin is. They just found this channel. So welcome to all the new viewers of this channel. There's a lot that goes on on this channel and there's three of them. LA2, LA3 as well. Jump on those channels and have some fun additionally. Coming up today on Evening's LA, we'll have more. Are you going to be tuning in? I bet you are. <laughs> on Evening's LA at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. We'll have the latest details of where this economy is and where it's going. Plus, we'll be having a preview of this new week. And we'll go over more of my, my predictions on this economy. We'll be seeing if anyone can cast a spell on this economy to fix it or whether it's not fixable at the moment and how you prepare for this accordingly. For the Shores of San Marco, California, thank you for joining me. Uh, we're just getting ready. Are you going to be watching me in costume during the Halloween week? I hope you are. And you know what I'm going to try to do? I don't know if I could pull it off. I'm going to try to find the reruns with me in Halloween costumes from 2021 to air those during the Halloween week as well. Wouldn't that be fun? I'll see if I can pull it off. I don't know if I can. I'll see you tonight on Evening's LA. Don't forget to become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Go under this video, become a member. Stay informed, stay focused, stay with Ally for more.